Hello there, my last Zelda Sealed Palace tutorial, I showed you how to play Zelda Sealed Palace, but this time we're going to show you how to play literally any ROM hack ever. Now, in the past, we used this web patcher, hack64.net tools slash patcher, where you have to choose your individual file first. In this case, we're going to be using the Zelda Ocarina of Time 1.0, and then we're going to get our patch file. This is the Indigo Chapter 2, but we're going to use Seals Palace just so we can have a baseline. And then we go patch, and it will just work. But if we were using a wrong ROM, such as a... And it comes up with this checksum error, which is not what we want. And it causes issues and everything else. So you gotta make sure you have the 1.0 ROM. But this is slow. You have to use a different website. You have to make sure you know what your patch file is. You have to make sure you know what your ROM file is. And that's all complicated and too much steps. So what we're going to be using instead is Parallel Launcher. Now, I was looking for this a year ago when I originally made my video on how to play Sealed Palace. And so now we're going to update this by using Parallel Launcher. So we're going to download this by downloading the installer being either 64-bit or 32-bit, depending on what your system is. And then we're going to go to that installer. We're just going to activate the setup. You're going to get an agree screen here about your agreements. However, when we first open this, Windows may come up and say, hey, this is a dangerous file. Don't download it. That's all right. It's OK. This file is fine. We go, OK, we want to download it. And then we're going to select where we want to download it. For me, I like to keep all my retro stuff in my retro folder. So we're going to say, hey, download it over there. And then we can say if we want a desktop shortcut or not, it's fine. And we let it install. Pretty simple. And it launches. And this is some stuff that I already have found because we can make it search for an entire directory. So we manage ROM sources. And then this is my ROM source here. Retro ROMs. Pretty straightforward. And it comes up with a few things for us. And we can see we have the original Legend of Zelda. It's already been found. And then we have these two mod files. And then if we click this, it'll just launch it up through RetroArch. And it will ask you, do you want to install RetroArch and all this other stuff? And there we go. Works pretty simple, right? How about we do something a bit more complicated? Let's add a different ROM, and we're going to be using this ROM here, Super Mario Last Impact. Apparently, it's a really cool ROM. Oh no, we don't have the base ROM. It doesn't work. And so it tells you straight away. So we need to get this base ROM. Luckily for you, I already have downloaded this base ROM in preparation for this. So we cut our Super Mario 64 1.0 ROM. This one's very easy to find. There is only 1.0 Super Mario 64 ROM. So they all work, which is great. And we're going to chuck this into our ROM directory. And then we head back to our parallel. We hit the refresh button and we should be able to see our Super Mario 64 now, which is great. It means we're on the right track. Then we go back to adding our single ROM and we search for our Super Mario 64 Last Impact BPS. And we go open and then we go play single. And would you look at that, it now works. It's that simple. I hope this helps you all. If you're wanting to find ROMs to play with this, as you can see, this one's a bit glitchy because of the, what we're using. If we back out and we go to use Ogre instead and go play single, it should look a little bit better. Should be in the keyword. And look at that, it looks way better. So you may have to like choose different sort of things for your character, but for the most part, that's how you want to be. Perfect jumping every time. So, what websites do I use to find these ROMs? Well, luckily there's ROM hacking, which is the people that actually made or at least have partnered with Parallel Launcher. And when you go to the site and look up a ROM, it goes play now. And it goes, do you want to open this with Parallel Launcher? And you go open with Parallel Launcher and then it just launches for directly their website. Really convenient, really useful. But for finding hacks individually, we got romhacking.com. It's a lot worse of a website for actually finding specific ROMs. You go to ROM hacks and then you gotta search through all this and it's just a nuisance. But this will work for every single Legend of Zelda mod, Super Mario 64 mod, and I'm sure every single other Nintendo 64 mod that's out there. Another great website that I got put onto recently is Hylian Modding. They don't have the greatest selection of mods, but they're all pretty cool mods, and they will all work through this 
format. All you have is your BPS file and your base ROM, and it will just automatically do it for you. You can launch with their plugin, the Parallel N64, or use Moopin64 Plus, depending on which you prefer, and then it launches it through RetroArch. This has full control support, all the rest. It's fantastic. Get into it and get modding. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.